reviewing blood bros in houston texas i'm gonna tell you right now the way my car is smelling right now makes no sense i got some brisket turkey and ribs for the ass let's see what it's hitting on ribs okay all right okay so this thing looks beautiful you get the char look, you get the red smoke ring. But when it comes to taste, it's most definitely tasteless. It's dry and it's chewy as f I was not expecting this. We got the turkey. Mmm, I like that. I really do. This one has a smoky dominant flavor. No sweetness, none of that. But I can definitely get jiggy with it because it's still juicy and packed with a lot of flavor. Mmm, this is all right. The brisket. Mmm, 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 mmm. -mm. I'll watch this man take this brisket out. <laughs> So as you can see, you know it's juicy. The bark on this really doesn't have any taste. I was expecting a salty, peppery taste and I didn't get that on this. But when it comes to being fat and meaty, it's definitely like that. Got the smoked Gouda mac and cheese. So without a doubt, it's creamy as hell. And it does have a smoky flavor. But in my opinion, it needs more salt and pepper to elevate the smoked Gouda taste, but it's all right. Jalapeno coleslaw. As you can hear, what we haven't heard already, it's extremely crunchy. I was expecting this, you know, have a little kick to it, but it doesn't. But I mean, it's just okay. I'm this close to saying that Dallas has better barbecue than Houston. This close. But being Houston, Texas, check this place out.